Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can animate your MetaHuman with the new motion wrapping system. This includes the walking animation, the running animation, the sprinting animation and of course the crouching. As well we have this parkour system where we can jump over these obstacles and climb on this box here. Great! So let's go! For this tutorial we will be using the game animation sample from Epic Games itself. This is really a game changer to animate your characters because it's using the new motion wrapping system which is calculating the best animation for the character movement. To import this to your project we need to activate some plugins. For this I created a new project here, just an empty one as you can see. So we go to the settings, plugins. First of all, we will need the motion wrapping plugin, this one here. Also the animation wrapping, then we need the motion trajectory, as well the chooser, then we need the animation locomotion library, and also the pose search. Of course I put all these plugins in the description and then we just restart the level. Let's open up the game animation sample where we have already the animations with our characters here as you can see. Also we have the footstep sound as well, the climbing system. Since we want to animate a metahuman let's go to blueprints. Then we have the retarget characters and here we have already the sandbox character metahuman. So we just go right click, asset actions migrate. We can keep the audio, that's fine. We can keep the blueprints. We don't need the echo. We don't need the paragon. We don't need the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin and the 5 one. We can keep this one here, that's fine. The input is fine. We need the level prototyping for the climbing system later, that's also important. We need of course the metahuman and the misc as well, so like this one. This will save a lot of space, just you know. Uh, you can activate this if you want, but it's not necessary. And then we just hit OK. Back inside our own project, make sure that you migrate all of it to your content folder, very important. And now we go to the blueprints, go right click, blueprint class, choose the game mode base. Let's call this my game mode, just for example. Then we go to the settings, project settings, maps and modes. And then we choose our my game mode and this way we can choose our default pawn class and we choose the metahuman. It will ask to activate some plugins, we will do this and restart. When we now hit play we have our metahuman, we can walk around including the footstep sounds, we can run and sprint and we can crouch. Great! Now let's import our own metahuman. For this we open up our quicksilver bridge so let's choose our metahuman that we want and just add it to the project. Then we can close this one, open up our blueprints, retarget characters again and just copy and paste the sandbox character metahuman. And let's rename this of course to our matching name, in this case Trey. Open this up. Then we go back to our metahuman folder open up the tray in my case, open up the blueprint tray, there he is. Then we go back to the sandbox character, to the viewport and then we just go and select the body, everything else including the LED sync and we just delete it. Compile and save this, then we go to the metahuman that we imported, select the body, and everything else including the LED sync. Then we just copy, select the mesh and paste. Then we select the body, very important, only the body and put this on the mesh. And then we just compile and save this. We can close the blueprint tray here, open up the details of the sandbox and now you can see we need to fix something. 
First of all, we need to fix the location and the rotation by clicking these arrows here. Next, we keep selecting the body here. Then we go back to our project, go to our blueprints, retarget characters, select the animation blueprint generic retarget and put this right here with this arrow here. Compile and save this as well. Then we open up the construction script. We need to fix this as well. So we take the feet, the legs and the torso and just connect it here. Compile and save this as well. Then we open up the function enable master pose. Then we take out the body here and connect it with the new leader bone component. Compile and save this as well. Now we have the last step. We open up the details again of the body and search for tag and add up the component tag here. And now we need to fill this in. For this, let's open up the standard character again as well. Select the body, search for the tag and just copy and paste this for our own character. And now you can see we fixed the animation. So compile and save this. We can close everything and that's it. Let's see if this works. We hit settings, project settings, maps and modes, select our new meta human, so our own one and hit play. There we have our own meta human. We can walk around, we can run, we can sprint and we can crouch. And of course, when we want, we can also go to the level prototyping, get the level block, this one here. Then we can place it inside the world. Let's rotate it. A little bit bigger here, like this one. A little bit smaller, like that. Then we just copy and paste this one. Let's make this one bigger. You can see the size right here, like that. And then we just hit play. Then we walk to it and hit space, space and space. Great. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.